one of the best things about living in New Orleans is no matter where you're from, no matter what strata of society you come from, you can appreciate good food. Whether it's from the poorest neighborhoods or from the finest restaurants, you know good food when you see it. So today, we have a dish that you'll find at the little ghetto food store, the little mom and pop food store, and one that you'll find at the fancy ass restaurant too. So the winners of today's episode are, another drum roll please. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host, Sean and Chef Du Jour. Yesterday we had our, my suggestion contest winners, Raul and Julie. Thank you very much for the eggplant and chicken parmesan. Today, as you saw in the title episode, we have our next winners, our runners up, if you will. Not that I think they're second in any way, but I can't do everything all at one time. Today we're doing crab cakes, courtesy of Terry, and stuffed bell peppers, courtesy of Katrina. Thank you both very much. Now, that's a good combination, too, because the recipes are kind of similar, as you'll see. Anyway, before we start cooking, as every good chef knows, we need a drink. Today's drink is a salty dog. That sounds disgusting, doesn't it? It's grapefruit and vodka. At least I'm pretty sure that that's what a salty dog is. There's no salt in it, and if there officially is salt, I'm not putting, I'm not putting salt in my drink. Let's find out, bartender's guide. They don't have salty dog, they have salty chihuahua. What the hell is that? Well, it kind of sounds good. Tequila, grapefruit, lime wedge, salt. Hmm. No, today we're doing grapefruit and vodka. Now I'm gonna call out a salty dog. Not too sweet, so you're not gonna drink it too fast. You're not gonna drink it too fast, I probably will. All right, let's get cooking. All right, like I said, today's recipes are kind of similar. So let's get the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start with the stuffed peppers. We're gonna get some shrimp. These are little small peeled shrimp, Gulf shrimp, Louisiana shrimp, hint, breadcrumbs. We've got some of our Trinity. I'm using the prepared stuff, so I don't have to chop all that crap. What a pain in the butt that is. Trinity, go look that up in my old videos. No, I'm not going to do a flashback. Bell peppers. Got a green and a red. It's like Christmas. It's all green and red. Got some eggs. Bada. And some Creole mustard. And some serrano chilies out of the garden. Just for a little bit of spicy action. Alright, let's get our shrimp. You know what? I'm going to save some of these. and make some shrimp cakes, along with the crab cakes. An egg or two in the shrimp. I'm putting all the wet stuff first. We get our trinity. Onions, peppers, and celery. Not carrots. Not onion, peppers, and carrots, like some chefs would insist. Emerald. And we'll get a little glob of Creole mustard in there, too. Not too, too much, because that this stuff is potent. You don't have to use serranos. If you want to use like Tabasco or cayenne pepper or something, this is just for a little bit of spicy kick. I'm gonna chop those up. I don't care how you slice your vegetables. What the hell, let's put some cayenne in there. I'm gonna put a good bit of salt. And fresh ground pepper. You know how I love fresh ground pepper. Okay, let's just mix all that junk up with your hands. Please tell me your hands are clean. All right, we do the wet ingredients first so we can gauge how dry we need to make this stuff. So let's add some breadcrumbs and see how, many, how much more we need to add so that it holds together. You know, you don't want it slopping all over your plate because that's just gross. All right, I said in my intro that we're gonna find one of these dishes in a little ghetto food store this is it. Now, I didn't grow up in the ghetto, but you know what? I've eaten at a lot of little ghetto food stores, and they can make some freaking stuffed bell peppers. Oh, God, so good. 
All right, I think we still need yet more breadcrumbs. Oh, you know what else we can add to this? That vegetable you don't have to worry about. Parsley is the vegetable you don't have to worry about. What the hell's my drink? This is, uh-oh, hang on, I lost my drink. <sighs> Thank God, I found it. Life can resume now. All right, so we want to get it to, to like a consistency where it'll stick together in a ball. Looks good. Well, actually it looks gross, but. Preheat your oven. Uh, 350? Yeah, we can do that. We're gonna bake the peppers. Let's slice our peppers in half. It's freaking labels. They label every single damn piece of vegetable and fruit in the store. How much paper is wasted on the labels? Oh my god, it's a pepper with no label! Alright, I stand corrected. Just take your Play-Doh shrimp stuff, stuff in here, and just smack it in there. Shove it in. That's a technical term, shove. Now you don't have to just use shrimp, you can use pork or ham, bacon. God, that would be awesome. Oh damn, I should have done bacon. Oh. You can use ground beef in here. Cook your, if you're gonna use ground beef, cook it ahead of time. All right, note to self, in the future, let's make some bacon stuffed bell peppers. God, how awesome would that be? Okay, by some miracle of karma, I came out with exactly the right amount of stuffing for the amount of bell peppers I had. Oh shit, no I didn't, fuck. That's very sad. I have an idea. All right, so here's your red and green stuffed bell peppers. It's very pretty, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna melt a half a stick of butter. Time for a refill. So you've heard the term hair of the dog that bitch up? I think this may be the dog. All right, we got our melted butter. Not margarine. Ooh, I have a text message. Oh, my friend wants to come over for Crap cakes. All right, our butter, not margarine, not that fake butter shit. God, this thing is heavy. We're gonna do crab cakes. It's a remarkably similar recipe. Let's open that up. Oh God, it's got a pop top, oh gosh. We're gonna use an egg. Why are we using an egg in all this stuff? Because the egg proteins hold, help hold it together. The actual process for that is denaturing the proteins. A bit more of a uh, Creole mustard. We need some spices. All right, this is some pepper vinegar I made. It's just a bottle of vinegar with serrano chilies in it because I had so many freaking chilies in my garden. I'm gonna add a dash of Worcester sauce, Worcestershire, whatever the hell sauce. Some more cayenne and uh, some basil leaves. Same thing, mix it up. Oh, parsley. Let's throw some parsley in there, why not? Did you go back and look at why you don't have to worry about parsley? I'll give you a hint, it's in my lasagna episode. That was one of my biggest epic fails. The lasagna, man, it would have been great if I hadn't passed out in the middle of cooking. Breadcrumbs. So it helps hold the stuff together. I keep getting text messages. What the hell? Yes, you can have some. Josh, come on. I want to have Josh as my guest chef. Because Josh is a great, great cook. So we got our breadcrumbs. Just... Really? I looked up a bunch of recipes on the internet. Because I've never made crab cakes before. This is my first time. A whole bunch of uh, recipes said crushed up crackers, saltines, or Ritz crackers. Now, did you watch my Parmesan episode? I just had a big diatribe about how I'm never going to use damn crushed up crackers, Ritz crackers, or whatever. Stop it, Josh. I'm never going to use freaking crushed up crackers in my dishes because that's just freaking white trash. So I had to look up specifically Louisiana crab cakes. Oh God, what? We're looking for the same kind of consistency. It's gonna kind of hold together a decent bit. Make a crab cake. 
crab cake burger thing. <gasps> oh, crab cake sandwiches. How great would that be? A crab cake burger. This is coming out better than I expected. Hang on. The night is still young. We still have plenty of disasters to overcome. Before I start doing the crab cakes, uh, let's make a sauce to go on top. We're going to make a rumelade sauce. Now, rumelade, if you look it up on the internet, the recipes are insanely complicated. I'm going to make a real simple, a real simple rumelade. Throw the cap of the mayonnaise everywhere. All right, so as you saw, mayonnaise, throw the cap on the floor. And yes, ketchup. I'm not a big fan of ketchup, but you need it for rum a lot. I mean, ketchup is okay, I guess, in some certain circumstances. Some folks can't live without. What the fuck is wrong with this? Why is this so difficult? Ugh, God. That's another reason I don't like ketchup, is it sounds like a fart. A little bit more Creole mustard. So it's a theme going on here, huh? Oh, motherfucker! On the ground? I swear, you could eat off my floor, literally! Alright, it's tarragon, tarragon leaves. And yes, a little more cayenne pepper. You just want it to be a little bit pink. How's that taste? Ooh, very nice. A little more tarragon. That's it. All right, I'm gonna put that in the fridge while we cook. Get your frying pan. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna use the crab cake mix to stuff the last bell pepper that I forgot. Hi! I have an unexpected guest. He's outside the window behind the webcam. Oh, come on! I already introduced you. Oh, come on. He's shy. Now instead of a guest chef, I have a live studio audience. All right, we're gonna grate our Parmesan cheese. Parmesan's gonna go on top of the uh, stuffed peppers. <laughs> God, this smells so good. All right, just sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Ow, shit. On top of each pepper. Stop that. Stop waving your arm in front of my lighting. I have terrible enough lighting in here as it is. Get our crab meat cake. Stuff. Not too hot. Remember like with the chicken episode? It'll get brown on the outside before it's, the shrimp and all is cooked. We're just gonna have to drain this stuff to ghetto way. Hey, we're making ghetto stuffed pork chop, I mean stuffed bell peppers. So we're gonna bring the fancy ass crab cakes down to the ghetto. Time for a refill. That is definitely going to have to be an episode of the Weenie Panini. Okay, these are coming along pretty good. These kind of came out, these are a little bit burned on that side, but we'll survive. That can be for our live studio audience. Isolation gear. Here's our pretty little stuffed bell peppers with our Parmesan. That's been in there for like an hour. Because remember, we've got to get let all that moisture evaporate. That kind of dry. You don't want it desiccated, but... You know, you don't want a big pile of mush on your plate either. Don't use too much breadcrumb. You don't want a big breadcrumb cake. You want a crab cake. Breadcrumbs are just there to hold the shit together. Right? He's nodding. Oh, it's a he. I kind of narrowed it down to half of the population of the earth. <laughs> I've never farted on camera before. Vlad Studio audience is suggesting I make soil and green, which is made from people. As we all know, if you would like to volunteer to be my dish, then by all friggin' means, come on by. I'll learn how to fillet you and make a lovely, I don't know, soil and green casserole. Oh God, I'm a little tipsy. Can you tell? The latest comment from the peanut gallery is about my flux capacitor. I have a big vein on top of my head. Apparently it's engorged. Now there's a word you don't use every day, engorged. Apparently the word engorged is creepy. <laughs> Thank you. If I've made, he's writing notes to me. If I've made this show creepy in any way, I apologize. I'm just trying to acknowledge my contestant runner-ups here with the freaking bell peppers and the crab cake. I'm not trying to be creepy, I'm sorry. 
What, you're writing more notes? Okay, go on. So, welcome to Creeping Under the Influence. <laughs> you're just a delight as a studio audience. You know you want to be on the show. Oh, and you will be. In drag. I'm probably not going to do a drag episode. Probably. Not necessarily. This is his message to me. Sawed off. I'm guessing that means no drag. <laughs> I'm slicing up a tomato. Put that on top of our crab cakes. Remember our simple romalade sauce that we made? And that's going to go on top of our crab cakes. There's our crab cakes and remoulade over here. There's our stuffed bell pepper here. Ghetto meets highfalutin society. You want to try it? You want a fork? He liked it! What do you think? I think you'll like it too. Thank you again to our runners up. You're, you're not runners up, you're winners too. Katrina McCrary and Terry Shield, thank you for the food ideas. Awesome. Send me suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bon appetit and adios. Okay, everybody. I can't